Приветствуем вас из Украины. Greetings from Ukraine. Меня зовут Дмитрий Лаптев. My name is Dmitry Laptev. Я являюсь епископом церкви Свет Жизни в Полтавской области. I'm bishop of Church's Light of Life in Poltava area. Это моя супруга Наталья. This is my wife Natalia. Вы все знаете, какие события сегодня происходят в Украине. You know what happened here in Ukraine. В Украине идет война. Now is real war. Беженцы. Refugees. Бедные. Poor people. Люди сегодня в нужде. Uh, people are needy everywhere. Мы стараемся помочь каждому, кто обращается к нам. We are trying to do the best to everybody who are asking for help. Кормим людей. We treat them. Помогаем эвакуировать. We help them to be evacuated and go to Europe. Сейчас мы помогаем тем людям, которые находятся в нужде. We always help those who are needy. Закупаем пакеты с едой для бедных. We buy many, many grocery and pack food for them. Поддерживаем инвалидов. Support disabled people who stayed here in Poltava. Помогаем многим семьям эвакуироваться. We help many families to be evacuated and go to uh, safety places to Europe. This is place uh, serves as a shelter for refugees. For example, be accommodated here for a night or for some nights. Мы находимся в большой нужде. And we are needy also. Но я верю. But we believe что вместе мы сможем все пройти. But everything is possible when we are together. Our church is now helping those who are in evacuation. Our city received 6,000 victims from the large city Kharkiv in neighborhood, which was the first to appear in the news of your screens TV. The other day, our city received 35 buses with refugees from the next Summe city. Everyone needs clothes, food, medicines, hygiene, and shelter. Among the evacuees are disabled children and babies from orphanages and boarding schools. We need finances. After all, the war undermined our economy and stopped the logistics of importing necessary goods. There is less and less food and other necessary goods on the shelves of stores. We also donate food to evacuation trains passing through our city. We must not forget about local population who stay also here. They need food and any care. We also try to reach them every day. In addition, we send money to those who are under occupation. These are the cities that have been captured by Russian troops. This is big city Kherson, Sumy, Kharkiv. People can buy groceries, but in limited quantities and in a long queue that can take a whole day. Whenever possible, we send people to Europe by car and train. We really need your support and help. Please get involved. We are in the east of, of the country, among the captured city, but we still have the opportunity to help people. Please pay attention to us.